Hey, welcome into the Mystery Fifth Hour. It is presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. You can find more on them at McCurryRentals.com. McCurryRentals.com. Everybody good today? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah? Wonderful Monday. I'm great. Rockstar. We've got a horn of plenty we just took off the table. Do you yeah. like a horn of plenty? I like a horn of some. <laughs> Horn of plenty. Oh, horn of a few things? Yeah. Like you don't a, like a horn of plenty? They want a plenty of a lot of things. Yeah. Um, McCurry Rentals, you can find McCurry uh, van and car rentals, trucks, SUVs, passenger vans. They make it easy to rent, help you get in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. Call and reserve your rental today, 256 559 1003. That's 256 559 1003 or McCurry rentals.com that's mccurry rentals.com um let's start with who was it was it lt yes lt yeah. let's start with you so if you had to i think we all love our country right oh America. yeah Amen. jimmy 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 america jimmy america um if you had to love, love it or another leave it. country for the rest of your life a place that you've never been to before where would you go and i'll start out i would i would go to switzerland um, You're very I, neutral. Yeah. Well, I mean, the economy is great. Cool. Um, the crime is way down. Actually, the climate is pretty controlled. Like it never gets like lower than like the 30s or 40s, and it never gets above like 85. So they said the climate is just awesome. It's a beautiful place. Um, I don't know. Do you ski? I don't, but I don't need when's to ski to go to Switzerland. When's the last time you had skis on your feet? Oh, 1999. Yeah. Water skis or snow skis? Well, snow skis. I think probably 88 for me. Mine was, uh, the was in the 2000s. Yeah, it's been a minute for Does me. Does Switzerland look skiing. like a cool place to you guys? Yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But, but Europe is, is um, it seems like when, when Compact. everything goes to hell in a handbasket, Europe is really close together. That's why I choose Australia. Yeah, but it seems, Nothing I'll let you get your Australia. Australia. It seems like Switzerland, like they're not involved in any politics. They don't align with anybody. They just do their own thing, and yeah. it seems to work for them. But they're right in the middle of everybody who does yeah. have a position. So eventually people have got to come through my neighborhood to get to the people they don't like. I'm not That's going to talk you out of Australia. I'm going to Australia because I don't have to spiders, crocodiles, sharks, snakes. Oh, not in my house. I don't race. think they got any of that in Switzerland. And like 75% of Australia is desert. Oh, there's got to be something bad in Switzerland. Though. I don't think there is. There's nothing bad in Switzerland. I Why read, the world Abba. So I read last year. Oh, there's Swiss? there's uh, close to. Abba Swiss? Abba what? The band Abba. Oh, Abba? No, they're uh, all Austrian? No. They aren't Swiss. German. No. no. No, nope. Google Abba. Finnish. You don't like Abba, huh? Finnish? Sweden. Swedish? Yes, it's, it is Sweden. Yeah. You don't like Abba? I think it's our Abba. I was just to say that that's the national. Uh, I also saw that there was only, so there's almost 9 million people in Switzerland, and there was only like 50 murders last year. So the crime rate is really down. I don't think we're used to that where we are here in America. You're a stats guy today. I like I'm that. a stats guy. I mean, I if I'm going to move somewhere for the, uh, oh, and by the way, this is fact too. They have the longest life expectancy in the world. And nobody like gets because nobody like gets good shit lining up in Switzerland. Because nobody gets murdered. What's their life expectancy there? Uh, for men, it's 81. For women, it's 85. Okay, you've made those up. Um, I have not. What is ours here? Um, I think for men, it is 72, and for women, 76. So a good decade, huh? Yeah. There's no way men's life expectancy in America is 72. <laughs> right yeah. Google it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're not really, we're not a healthy society. I don't know if you know this. 72 compared to 81. We're, I mean, Alabama's lost two football games, and we're, we're nine years behind And watch Sweden. my, 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 my. 77.2 in is, 2020 for okay. men in the U.S. So what was it in Sweden? 81 per, 81 Or Switzerland. Percent. I'm yeah. sorry, Switzerland. And, and then 85 for over. And see, that's one. another thing. You're five more years. Switzerland and Sweden, you get confused. This is too, too easily much. confused. Yeah. Jim's right. Yeah. Australia and Austria, I guess you can get confused well, with, but I'll go Australia. Do you like the Swiss uh, flag, though? Uh, kind of rams this, yeah, is a little, um, no, it, no, that's it Sweden. No. I guess God, I think I want to move to Sweden. Yeah. It's a Dunaway's point, that's Sweden. Yeah, it's a little you, Finnish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly. Yeah. Why would you not go Sweden with Rams colors? Uh, I've just heard Switzerland's a better place. What, time, would do the be Ram, the what time do the Rams kick in Switzerland? Oh, uh, the they typically t kick at 10.25 p.m. on the p.m. PM. So you're just, uh, everything's a night game for you. Yeah. 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 You, don't like, you don't like the sort of your time of I'm night not, anyway. I'm not planning on work anymore once I go to Switzerland. Yeah, you should yeah. stay up and watch the Rams. Yep. Australia for me because I get one major sporting event every year, the Australian Open. Yeah. And the, I, the tennis. Yeah, the tennis. I mean, I can go to hang out at that. Yeah, the World's Cup there, right? Uh, yeah. Just think about this, though. Christmas time is summertime there. 
That seems awesome. You, which would, would suck. Would, you got to put nut that. dust on for oh, Christmas. Yeah. Well, this guy, you hate the cold. I hate the cold. Yeah, so you want to get out of it. I would do New Zealand. I don't know why. I, I wish I could go to New Zealand. You're going to be close to Dunaway. But we, it's, we, we it's take the same flight. It's also like a 24-hour flight. Which well, I yeah, think of staying there. New Zealand's beautiful and everything, and uh, they speak, uh, like, Connor speak, I like a little Australian, but they are uh, little New Zealand. Do you remember the uh, Jesse Pinkman quote on New Zealand? So Jack is watching Breaking Bad for the first time, so... Whenever he's over, we'll, we'll grab an episode or two. And it was in the second season when he's dating the girl that writs out the duplex. And she had a rough ending. She gets all the money, though. Spoiler and alert. We can go anywhere we want. He was like, yeah, 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 let's go to New Zealand. That's part of Australia, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I Why are they know. called kiwis? I guess because the bird. I don't know. Or the fruit? Yeah. Uh, it could be the I like the a bird. kiwi. I bet you don't like them because of the seeds. Yeah, it's a lie. Kiwi, I can leave or take. Mm, I like it. I like I it when somebody never, else has done the work. I see it up. the seeds, but I never feel the seeds. Well, it's the a seeds. little texture thing, but yeah, yeah. yeah they go down. Yeah, I, I mean, what about you? Where if, you, you if you told me I never ate another kiwi in my life, I'd be fine. I had a friend that lived in Austria. Speaking of Austria, and he says it is incredible. Like I've seen photos of it and video of how beautiful Austria is. And he now the problem there is it's going to get really cold. And he's a golfer like me, and you could only play, so the, the golf wasn't great, and you could only play, you know, six, seven months a year. There, there was no Whew. year-round golf. Six, seven months? That's a lot, yeah, that's a lot I mean, more. What, I thought you were going to tell me two or three. Oh, it's only half the year. I thought you might go to Scotland. Uh, you could play golf. Oh, Scotland. Have you seen the weather in Scotland? Yeah. Cool. Our, our man, speaking of nut dust, is obviously from Scotland, and he said that they don't have air conditioners in Scotland. Oh, no, thank you. I don't want to live somewhere. <laughs> I don't well, I remember we went to, uh, as a family vacation, like we went somewhere in, is it Steamboat Springs? I think Steamboat, yeah. but it was during the summer. I remember the place we went to, everything's winterized, so they said we don't have air conditioners. We don't use them because so, tourism's in the, <coughs> in the winter. <coughs> oh, on me. So, <clears throat> my drink. I'm okay. We all had to Pretty get nice. little floor fans for it better because it was so hot in the summer in Colorado or something like that. I remember that the not having an air conditioner is a bad deal. No, uh, thank you. I do not uh, want to skip air conditioner. Nobody says Italy, huh? What's wrong with Italy? No, I hear Italy's great. Uh, Did you do carbonara every day and spaghetti uh, and it's just Italian oh, food? Oh, I'd weigh day. a million pounds, yeah. Rockstar. Mm. If the food's any anything like I think it is, and if it's anything like Sbarro, because well, they had those big slices. That's your favorite Italian. Yeah. Matt, Matt Lauer ended up going to Italy. So does Steve Carell's character. And uh, did Matt Lauer really show. go there though? I think so. Or was that just Steve Carell's character in the morning show? No, I think they pretty much based everything around him. Wow, it's yeah. inspiring. That sucks. But right Italy now. doesn't seem like a place you really could disappear if you were that big. Well, yeah. I mean, I think it's gonna be tough for Matt Lauer to disappear anywhere. He yeah. was pretty well known. He could now though. But he didn't really then. He got noticed the first time he went out of his little castle. Yeah. And that's when he got noticed. So as long as he was secluded, he was okay. Yeah, I just would have brought the party back to my place. Yeah. I mean, if I was... I mean, you probably get tired of being inside all the time, though. At some point, you want the food. Yeah, but you have one of those big pools. Yeah. I got one of those big, big <laughs> pools. Come on. Pool at your <laughs> yeah, come on over. Uh, it is the Mystery Fifth Hour presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. The rental company you can depend on. They got all kinds of vehicles to choose from, including trucks, SUVs, pass passenger vans that make it easy to rent, helping you get in and out fast. Now with locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman, 2nd Avenue Northwest. Call and reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003, 256-559-1003, or mccurryrentals.com. You see it there, mccurryrentals.com. Um, if let, Let's assume that we have opened a television hall of fame. I did this differently, by the way. Go ahead. Have we already done it? No, I did this. Oh. So say we just, well, Let's I, combo them then. Okay. We've, we've opened a television hall of fame and we're putting, we're in the character wing, like actual TV characters. Uh -huh. Who is a first ballot hall of famer in your opinion? Like they, you cannot open the television show hall of fame without having this person in the character. Well, they feel like there is a television hall of fame, but maybe there's not. Well, I don't um, think it is for I've characters. I've never been. I, I think, you know, they walk of fame for the different actors. Yeah. Right. But I mean, two characters that 1,000% would have to be in would be Brian Cranston as Walt White from Breaking Bad mm -hmm. and James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano. Oh, absolutely. Both I mean, of those. Yeah, because I think for a lot that's of people, those are considered 1A, 1B. Yeah, those yeah. both have got to be in. But Archie Bunker would be one oh, Andy back Griffith. of the day. I know it's so tough when you but start. But see, I, I'd go Archie Bunker before. I went Lucy Ball. But Lucille Ball would be one. But Archie Bunker, because of um, just the way he spoke to the controversial topics in America of that time, um, he, he, but I'd have no problem with those two either. But Archie Bunker would definitely be one of the first four in. Here's the weird thing about Archie Bunker is, like, 
you would look at what you can get away with on TV now versus then. Yeah. However, you couldn't do the Archie Bunker show now no. because we don't have a sense of humor anymore. I mean, people would get so, they wouldn't realize what was happening. Yeah, the only. He was making, he was showing you how dumb it was and people are too dumb to realize that's what he's doing. Larry David could pull it off. That's probably the yeah. only person. Larry David gets away with it. If you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, right. it's so that's why I switched. But in the same vein, you're exactly right. I switched mine up in my in my Hall of Fame to stuff that I've watched personally. Okay. So I came up with Michael Scott. Oh, he's so good. George Costanza. Leon Black from Curb Your Enthusiasm. David Brent from The Office UK. Gus Fring from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. And Rust Cole from... True Detective. True Detective season one. That character was yeah. so awesome. That's the Matthew McConaughey yeah. character. For those Amazing that role for uh, Matthew McConaughey. It was some of those guys, I mean, that was limited to one season. I mean, a lot of people believe that was the best season ever of television. Mm. Yeah. Carol Burnett would have to be in there, right? Probably so. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know how many you can get into the first ballot, first time rolling through. We've got a lot right now. Yeah. yeah. But that, that, that it, I mean, she obviously was iconic for uh, what she did. I like, I like your secondary characters, though, because so many of those guys are what the yeah. small part that makes the show. Like Roger Sterling, we all agree, is the best part of Mad Men. That's right. I wondered if he would come up. Yeah. Omar Little in The Wire mm -hmm. was so good. Christopher Maltesante in The Sopranos. I mean, there's those supporting actors that are that, that, are that make the show. Yeah. Like that's, that's one great. reason I brought this up is I wonder how many uh, supporting Jesse, Jesse actors. Jesse Pinkman too is the best thing about Breaking Bad. Yeah, me. and you put Walt White in in front of him. Yeah, I mean just because I think those are guys that would have to be in. Yeah, so I'm curious that you did two Office characters. Well, because David Brent from the UK Office and Michael Scott are. Is that that's the uh, Ricky Gervais? Yeah, Ricky Gervais Ricky, character. But they're they're similar, but they're so different. Like it's the David Brent character is more of an ass. Uh, and he's, it's, I'm not one of those guys that says the British office is better than the U.S. office. They're different, but they're, because the British version's like, there's probably like 10 episodes, 10 or 11, it's two seasons, but it's so good. I can rewatch those over and over, just like the office up until Steve Carell leaves, but fantastic, fantastic. Love it, love it. I didn't know you were such a big office guy. David Brent, yes. Well, if you ever watch uh, Life on the Road, the David Brent story that they put on Netflix, it's a Netflix original movie where it's David Brent going back he wants to be a rock star because he's always wanted to be one. He wants to be David, calls him David Bowie. Overseas, they call him <laughs> David Bowie. And uh, he says, like, so I'm going to get a tour bus and we're going to tour the country and my band and we'll have a bunch of 24-year-olds be my band members and everything. And it is so funny. I've probably seen it three or four times on Netflix and that's saying much. So Life on the Road, David Brent, Netflix. Uh, speaking of David's, and I'm not a fan, but David Letterman would have to be. Just Ooh, because of his influence. Of, but in front of Johnny Carson, you think, though? Johnny Carson's the go to that yeah. industry, I would yeah. say. Even Letterman would tell you Carson. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm with you. The The late night show doesn't matter anymore. It's more, you know, internet clips. But back in the day, that was kind of the home for... Well, that's how people promoted everything. They did promote everything. And it was the home for maybe edgy humor a little bit because it was late at night, obviously. And, and what felt like real conversation with the stars. Yeah. Well, yeah. To, I mean, to Dunaway's point, it felt like... I don't know. I'm trying to think of a big name star that would, you know, Michael Landon. I don't know if he's yeah. a big name, but he was. It was yeah. always it was always cool when like Tom Brokaw would show up, and they they wasn't the news guy anymore reading the news or whoever Walter Cronkite or somebody would show there and they would show their personality, yeah, uh, out of their normal character or when a president can presidential candidate would go on before it became a scripted thing for them to go on. You know what I think it was is I think. You know, a lot of times when you see, uh, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, let's use him. Like, if you were to see him interviewed, he is a much bigger star than anyone interviewing him. So there's like a, almost a cast system. Johnny Carson didn't view, interview anybody that was a bigger star than him, right? So they were contemporaries. They were, it was like two guys that were on the same level interviewing one another. Yeah. Speaking of Leo, I don't think I've ever seen him do an interview. I don't think I have either. I don't like know. Jay Leno I thought that when I used stuff. him, yeah. I don't think no, he has to, right? One of those, no, he does. He can do whatever script he wants. Like every script in Hollywood goes through Leo first. Yeah. He's always he's got first right of refusal to everything. And if he's in it, it doesn't need yeah. promotion. It's amazing. It. The guy makes a movie, what, every three to four years? So yeah. just lives how, his life. How many kickers and punters do we have in the Hall of Fame? Ray Guy died last week. Yeah. We know he's in. Morton Anderson. Anderson, I think, is yeah. in. There's not many. But is like the punter or kicker of our television Hall of Fame, David Hasselhoff, just because of Baywatch <laughs> and Night, Night, Night Rider? Rider, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I never watched Night Rider. I, I watched a little bit of Baywatch. Rider when I was a kid, kid, I used to love it. Yeah. yeah. Never, I don't think I've ever seen a full episode of Baywatch, but I know I watched Knight Rider. You know, Baywatch is a show I've never watched. I get the jokes. I know the history of it, but I've never once watched a Baywatch. Not great TV. Life. Really? It wasn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Very believable, though. What, a bunch of <laughs> extremely attractive... Every one of them. Well-proportioned yeah. uh, lifeguards yeah. are out there saving lives. Mm. Mm. Yeah, do you want to do you want to save lives with the uh, great whites in the Pacific today, or doing OnlyFans? <laughs> Both. <laughs> All right, it is the Mystery Fifth Hour. It's presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. You can rent from McCurry. They've got the trucks, SUVs, passenger vans, and make it easy, helping you get in and out fast. They got locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and in Coleman on Second Avenue Northwest. Call and reserve your rental today. 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003. Or visit mccurryrentals.com. That's mccurryrentals.com. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe on YouTube, retweet us, follow us on social media at Next Round Live, and set your alerts on YouTube so you always know when we're live with the next round.